olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation, 19 and last. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like hinds feet, and he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my stringed instrument. Bless of his holy word. Amen. In his word, there is, there is life and there is deliverance. Amen. In his word, there is comfort and strength. Amen. And we know that he's coming soon. Amen. Morning, night, or noon. Nobody know the minute nor the hour. Amen. When the Son of Man shall put in his appearance. Amen. But we are to be ready that when he comes, amen, in his anger, amen, we shall be found written in the Lamb Book of Life. Amen. Because right now, mercy door is open unto us. Amen. That we can gain salvation, that we can gain eternal life. Amen. But we thank God that one day that he bled and he died, that we might have liberty and freedom. Praise the Lord Jesus. The devil desires to keep us bound, amen, to keep us wrapped up with him. But we thank God that he broke the chains. Amen. We thank God that he set us free one day. Amen. That we have liberty right. today. Right. Let us hold fast to that hope. Amen. That we cherish not in vain. That one day when we leave this land, amen, we shall hear well done, that good and faithful servant. Bless the name of Jesus. We give God thanks. Amen. And to this Sunday's brother Wayne's loss. And we give God thanks to you and your dear wife. We give God thanks for having you. We're just going to have a short um, greeting from brother Wayne as it is last Sunday. That's a short greetings in Jesus' name. I greet the pastor. I greet everybody in the church. Um, this is our last Sunday with you, and we're heading back to Canada. Now, just a couple of words before I leave. I appreciate the pastor and the church giving me the opportunity to uh, say my goodbye and a few words to you before I leave. You know, Psalm 51 and 6 says, Wash me, and I shall be white earth and snow. Now, my son Johnny, when he was just a little boy, he was out playing in the backyard and playing in the trees and playing in the garden. And he came running in after a long play and a very vigorous play and said, Dad, 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 get me a drink of water. I'm so thirsty. So I went and got him a cup full of water and I gave it to him and he gulped it down completely and then he handed the cup back to me. And as he handed it back to me, he said, Dad, why did you give me a dirty cup? And I said, Johnny, I didn't give you a dirty cup. He said, look at the cup, it's dirty. I said, Johnny, look at your hands. Your hands are dirty. And you transferred your dirtiness to the cup. Many times in our lives, because we do not have regular washings in our spiritual life, we need them as well as we need them physically. We need them spiritually. Regular washings in our life. We are carrying dirtiness that we're transporting to one and another all around us, and sometimes we're not aware of it at all. The song I would like us all to share in a moment, if, if you will permit me, is there's a, a highway to heaven, there's walking on the king's a highway. And uh, if, you, if you're going to walk there, it's only for, the song says, for the pure in heart. How many times have we have had um, problems knowing that we are not all that we ought to be? Well, that's true. We are in a process of growth. We are in a process of transformation. And we're imperfect people. Don't expect perfection from any of us. We do fail. We do slip. We do fall. Uh, but, the, but the point is that we need to know that the purity of heart of which we speak or the song speaks about comes from Christ within. Amen. Not from ourself or our own works. When you look at the mirror spiritually, don't look too much at yourself. Look past the mirror to the Lord who controls everything. Now the man who wrote Highway to Heaven was Thomas Dorsey. And like many young teenagers, he wandered away from the church, raised in the church, wandered away. Oh, yeah. It's a highway to heaven.
saints, please keep standing. In Jesus' name, it's a highway to heaven. Amen. None can walk up there but the pure in heart. And we're just looking unto God. Amen. That they will give us a pure heart that we can reign with him. And right now, I have great pleasure in calling our dear mother and pastor, Pastor Ian Douglas to the church. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise the Lord, everyone. Greetings in Jesus' name. God is good. God is good. I thank God for that songwriter. He's telling us, us, is a highway to heaven. And he tell us a but. He tell us it's a highway. But he tell us but. None can walk up there. But the pure in heart. And the word of God said, Blessed are the pure. You're blessed, you know. Not money, not house, not at the world and everything. Blessed are the pure in heart. Because it's very hard for your heart to be pure when things is going wrong, when things is going against you, when somebody lie on you, when somebody put you down, and your heart to be pure, you're blessed. None can walk up there, but the pure in heart. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. May God bless somebody today. May somebody turn to God today. The Bible said wash and the sons are wash in the blood of the lamb. And I shall be whiter than snow. God bless you. We're glad to have Brother Wayne. We'll miss you and your dear wife. We welcome you. And we hope you come again. God bless you in Jesus' name. The preacher will be Minister Johnson and Terrellin tell me tired. Come on, Minister. Amen. When you tell me that's enough, then it's all right for me. Come on here in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, Lord, we are. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Shall bless the Lord, everybody. Name of Jesus. Can we stand at this Name time? Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Can we stand and lift our hands right Jesus. now? Name of Jesus. In the sanctuary and give Name the Lord a praise. Name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's give the Lord a praise. Name of Jesus. We Name love you. We give you thanks. Name of Jesus. We love you. We give you thanks. Name of Jesus. We magnify you, we lift you up, we magnify you. Name of Jesus. We exalt you, we extol you. Jesus. You are the Lord of Lords. Name of Jesus Christ. You are the King of Kings. Name of Jesus. You are the brightest morning star. Name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, touch him, Lord. Okay, just stand where you are. Touch him, Jesus. Just whisper something to God right now. Touch him, Jesus. Hallelujah. Touch him, Lord. Uh, whatsoever comes to your spirit's Jesus mind Christ. when it comes to righteousness and perfection in Christ, it is something that is dear to my heart. And uh, we have to be very careful when it comes to dogmatizing of God's perfection. David clearly in Psalm 15 enunciates this to us quite well. When he asks the question assuredly, I'm a Bible person, so see with me. Who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall dwell in thy holy hills? Ooh. Then he, through the, his eyes of the Spirit, beckons an answer. Hello, he that walketh uprightly shall them. and worketh righteousness them, and speaketh the truth in his heart. That's right, no hypocrisy. He that biteth not with his tongue, tell you. nor doeth evil to his neighbor, Amen. nor taketh a reproach against his neighbor. Them in whose eyes a vile person is content, right. but the honor them that fear the Lord. He that swear to his own hurt Amen. and change it not. 
believers. It doesn't matter how we want to go around it. How we want to use theology and, and mix it up and dice it up. Without holiness, no man shall see God. Therefore, man must present himself faultless to stand before the King of Kings that is right. and the Lord of Lords. You have uh, a duty or responsibility to ensure that you're ready for the rapture. That you are ready for his coming. Because you can count it as night cometh that his coming is near. For the book of Psalm 16 and just the first verse. Preserve me, O God. For in thee do I put my trust? I look through the Webster, Webster's dictionary. It told me that preserve means to be kept from, from hurt, from danger, from destruction, from all types of name it. But when I research further and I deep look at the word preserve from a biblical context. It says to be kept in its original form. And since I'm using the transitive verb today in this clause, I'm using it to say to be kept in its original form. Be with me today, children of God, because I come to encourage somebody today who is in need of preserving. We cannot define preserved without looking at the consequent last word that it says trust. Because preserve can't work without using the word trust. When we look in the scriptures and we look at trust, trust in the Old Testament is used over 152 times. That is significant to God. When you look into the New Testament, it is translatory form. It means faith and belief. That faith now is the substance of things hoped for. Hold on. And the evidence of things. Hebrew tells us by this faith, the elders obtain an excellent report. And that's why we're living how we're living today. Because we want to hear the words, well done. Amen. That's why we stick through the trials. That's why we stick through the crosses and the struggles every day. Because we want to hear at the ending of the day, well done. Many of us could have backslidden a long time ago. We could have lost the focus and choose to go along another pathway. But you know quite well that a day is coming when every man shall give an account. Oh God, what a day that is going to be. David saw that one day that the resurrection will be sure. He saw, he knew that God one day will require for him his life. That's why we know that for every man is appointed to him wants to die. There is a fixed date upon every man's life. But this day no man will know because God have it set for him. Amen. Truly the word looks on us today. David saw himself with the distractions around him. With all the sort of negativities, the positivities. Can I just speak to how we understand it today? Uh, some people declare that there's nothing in the world that I will turn back to. You better close your mouth. Because there's so many things in the world that if you don't keep your eyes on God will distract you from the promised land of God. Come on somebody. Many of us was born in church. We are church babies. We know nothing of the world. But listen to the people that spend their night, their days in the world. They will tell you there's glim glamour. There is all sorts of distractions waiting for them. But they made up in their minds that comes what may. I'm going to trust in the Lord. For he is my strong tower. He is my butler. Hallelujah. 
That's why we need to lean upon God with all our understanding and he will direct our path. Here now, preserve is very important. For those who are West Indians or Africans, in the old time premises, there was no refrigerator, there was no modern way of keeping your food. Hallelujah. What my grandmother Nelly Campbell would do when they kill the animals would just get the tribes on the intestine and hang it over the fire. Why? It's to preserve the meat for a longer time. Hallelujah. When times get rough and no fish, no, it's not there. They get the salt, the pepper, the onions, hallelujah, the scotch bunny pepper. They cut it up together. They'll get a big bucket and get the pork and stuck that meat in the bucket. Why? It's to preserve the meat because salt is a preservative. The reason why you can go and pick something on the shelf in a supermarket that's in a tin for a long time is because it contains preservative you can't tell me nothing if it had not been for the Lord who was on your side you'd have failed and failed a long time ago but because his preserving powers have held a hand on you you're sitting here today no wonder why the psalm is clear in Psalm 121 that up to the hill I look for my help cometh from the Lord, the Lord who made heaven and the earth. All preserving come from the Lord. All preserving come from the Lord. So we don't trust in chariots. We don't trust in horses because God preserves us. No wonder why David declared, I was young and now I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Are we seen making bread? Because God is a provider. When God is preserving you, you will have ups and downs. Oh God, you smell sometimes when God is keeping you. But when you're going through your trials, when you're going through your process, although you go through your fire, the fire will not consume you. Although you go through your floods, it will not overtake you because you're God. He's a preserver. Somebody lift your hand and say, preserve me, oh Lord. Hallelujah! Glory, glory, glory. Yes. Preserve me, O Lord! Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. I feel like I'm talking to somebody now. I feel like I'm talking to somebody now. We are so confident in a in a tin. Of beans and sausage, corn beef. When you go to the supermarket, we are so confident that we don't ask the question. As we're ready for you, is book in our plate and we start eating. We will, not, we will dare to think about how long it has been on the shelf. Come on, somebody. If we can have this confidence in a tin of corn beef. Can I preach them there today? If you can have this confidence in a tin of beans, what about God? He's a young man keeper. He's a young woman keeper. He's an old girl keeper. Preserve me, O oh Lord. Holy Ghost preservation. For indeed, Holy Ghost preservation. Do I put my trust? David said, my confidence is in you, almighty God, Amen. not in another. Yes. Holy Ghost preservation. The use of trust so many times in the Old Testament, one, five, two times, indicates that in the old times, man had no choice but to trust in God. Because they very well know if they're not trusting God, they're dead. Can I tell you up in this house? If you ain't trusting God, you're dead. Amen. Leave me on the oath. The book of Daniel chapter 3. Amen. There were three Hebrew boys. I feel I'm going to preach harder. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Who knew the God who they served? 
who knew that they had to trust the living God. When the back was against the wall, uh, there was no one ahead. They still say, my trust is in God. I know he cares for me. Amen. When there's no one help, yes. remember your preserving is in God. Amen. When God preserves you, Amen. you don't come out as decomposed. When God preserves you, you don't come out with one hand, uh, God with one foot. But when you trust God and He keeps you preserving, He keeps you in your original state. A broken and a contrite heart when God will not despise because when you're in the pit that's how he specializes when you're broken when you're distorted he specializes Amen. somebody to preserve you Lord preserve you Lord it's all about the evil boys when the buyer when you a new car, oh my Lord, shut up! Feet got up in this place. Huh? Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. To keep the car on the road, Amen. we have to put in petrol, don't we? Amen. We have to check the oil every now and then. Amen. Hallelujah! The government know that the, the more defective the car is. Is the more accident it's prone to cause. Amen. So the government said the one's got MLT. Am I talking good? Amen. Amen. That's right. So every year you can go and check your motor yes. to ensure it is optimum running condition. Yes. Same with the Holy Ghost. He checks you every now and then that you are fully preserved. That's true. When trouble arrives. When conflict is on you, he comes in every now and then and check you how preserved you are. In a dark world as this, in a crazy world as this, we need to be preserved. When you see an indicator light, somebody check it out. To some foolish driver still driving on the motorway. And the light keep on flashing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Holy Ghost Church. We need to watch the indication. Amen. Hallelujah. When you're losing preservative, you know any and anything. When you're losing preservative, your hands are not clean. Amen. Your heart is not pure. You're not biting lot. Get watch the indication. Amen. Go ahead. That's true. That's true. So you have to watch the signs. Go ahead. Amen. Believers, I'm not talking in some language, but don't let the record come for you. What do you wait, 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 here? Don't let the recovery truck come for you. Amen. People are waiting until they're dead. Cut a shanda. People are waiting until they start stinking. Goodbye. If you lost your preserving, Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. come on, let God preserve you. Amen. Goodbye. Don't break down part of the way. Because heaven. Sir, there's a highway here. On the way. Where sorrows shall flee away. Shall flee away. And the light. And the light. And the light. Shines. Shines bright. Walking. As again. Walking. Walking. In the king's highway. Walking in the king's highway. Walking yes, yes, yes. in the king's highway. Holy Ghost Church, let yes, us yes, walk. Yes. Glory. Amen. Let us walk. On this highway, there's no break, no car. On this highway, there's no car running on the gas. Because God is. Yes. Yes. Glory. Yes. 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 Yes.
on the M1. Yes. Amen. There's a lot of cameras. That's right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, on the M1. London's busiest highway or motorway. Amen. There are a lot of person engineers that sit in a room Amen. monitoring cameras That's right. all day Amen. on that motorway. Amen. But on this highway, I say I looked at it and said, There is a highway. Isaiah says it Amen. that there's a highway, a way of holiness, no unclean Amen. thing. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. I see my help coming. God Amen. is the one watching the camera yes. Yes. on this highway. Amen. God Himself yes. is monitoring the cameras. Yes. Amen. Every deed. Yes. Everything that a man does in this body. No wonder why Paul declared, if my man defile the temple, him shall God destroy. Amen. You can't be the Holy Ghost Church and not talk about perfection. No. If you end up, if this is the Holy Ghost Church, in at all. We must believe in it. Colossians tell us that is God in us. The hope, of glory. the hope of glory who shall present us for this before the great and dreadful day. Amen. Amen. That's true. Judgment is coming. All will be there. Glory. Yes. Therefore, let glory. every man give an account Amen. for what he does in this mortal body. In this body. Yes. Because he shall say, Hallelujah. Yes. When this mortal Put on immortality. Yes. When this corruption yes. shall put on incorruption. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It may seem long. It may seem forever. But the trumpet is going to sound. Jehovah Sikhanu, by Jehovah Nakamesh, 
they didn't know that they were preserved. Amen. Listen to me. Amen. The reason why they get trouble at the job, they don't know you're preserved. Amen. This, these boys get the boat. Get so brilliant. Amen. I said, can he say this? Our God will deliver. See, when you trust God, you can talk to the enemies at the gate. Amen. Even if God Almighty, Amen. when you're preserved by God, you fear nobody. Amen. If you have to preserve me, Lord. Amen. Preserve me, Lord. Amen. So God get me. His mercies get me. That I would let go. Amen. So I'm here today. Because God can help me. Let me have faith. I'm alive today only because of His grace. God, my mom said, Oh, shot. No, me. I'm going to talk to people today.
By the spirit of the mouth, Rapa Seto Sihima, Kundo Rabahasa, Kundo Rabasa, Nepeti Sihima, No Mohosia, Baba Bahase, Kunde Nebehese, Namasa, Jesus. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, Lord. So I'm here today because I can't believe. Oh, I'm alive today Only because of His grace He kept me And God kept me And He kept me So I wouldn't let go
Lay hands upon the body. Two hands at the same time. Hallelujah. All your heads in the presence of God. We're going to pray for you. Touch on Jesus. I don't know if it's your first visit or second visit. But not touching God in a way too. Leave a divine touch upon them now. That even after many days, they will feel the power of the problem. Cool in their heads, sir. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let them leave the touch, Lord. I said, let them leave the touch. And even after weeks, oh, sir, they will feel it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Touch them, Lord. Put a fence around them. Put a fence around them. That no demons, no devils, no water. We'll be victorious. Jesus. I feel virtually evil in my body. I feel virtually evil in my body right now. Somebody's holding on. Somebody's holding on to God. I feel somebody's pulling right now. I feel somebody's pulling right now. Show shit to you now. You will never be the same. You will never be the same again. Oh God, I want to give thoughts about this mic, but the Holy Ghost is here the Holy Ghost. Oh, glory. Rise, rise, stop. Rise upon your feet. Rise, 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 rise. Oh, Shama Wasanda. After today, you are never the sheep. Who they hit, said Shama Wasanda. After today, walk before God. Be the holy. After today, walk before God. Be the holy. Shama. You are not the sheep. I declare a promise on you. You are not the same. Go to your seat now. Go to your seat. After today, you are not the same. Yes, Lord. Come on, Missouri. Give us seat back of water. Come on, some of them working. They're working in the water. Jesus. This is no longer water. But this is beautiful by your brother. As the song is alone, come on the blood, Lord. Come on the blood, Lord. This now is standing for the storm. Here it for the body. We put it with holy ones. We put it with faith. Trust, preserve it. This now is your blood. Oh, as often as you drink it, touch body, touch organs, touch stomach, touch internal, touch external. Because this is now converting them in Jesus' name. Open up, open up. You are the daughter, drink it. Take us all now. Every night, every morning, drink now. One teaspoon of some here. You know what I said? I think I got to look at it, baby. Amen. It shall be no more. I feel a God of prophecy over this place. I feel the spirit of prophecy in this place. Oh, what the one going on? What the one going on? Go on. Your sojourn here, sir, is not a normal one. Your sojourn here. It's not to be ordinary. God set up you here to be extraordinary. You came for a role. You are not just a bystander. But God called you to work. I pull off dead works. I pull off procrastination. I pull off. In your role and your responsibility. I am not that God will open your eyes to see visions that He may give revelations. Hallelujah. I said, Today is not an ordinary day. 
Wake up, 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 wake up. I'm talking to your spirit. Wake up. See what God wants you to do. And do it. In Jesus' name. God put fire in Jesus. I said, put fire in Jesus. So I'm here today because God kept me. I'm alive today only because of His